All right, so to introduce our fabulous features to you tonight, I want to bring up the man who is responsible for booking said features throughout this whole season, and who is also our fearless workshop leader. Please welcome Deshaun Dowdy to the show. Short. Nice to meet you. How's everybody doing? Yeah. I know. Raise your hand if you showed up for the workshop earlier today. There are only a few of you. How kick ass was it? Awesome. Yeah. We host a free riding workshop. We meet up at 5. We start at 5 30. Y'all should come out. Uh, also, quick announcement some of you remember Meg Waldron. Uh, we remember yeah. Meg Waldron has placed 11th in the Women of the World Poetry Slam. So she's 11th. Uh, for those of you who care, just in the effort of fairness, I wanted to let everyone know that the woman that won was Denise Froman and Portia O and Dominic Ashahid all made final stage. It was really rad. <laughs> Enough of that. Come to the workshop, it'll be fun. I'm gonna introduce someone to you. Jesse Drake moved to Portland in 2011 from Santa Barbara, California because she was promised beer, poetry, and lesbians. Yeah. And has delivered on these things. She works as a freelance writer, a barista, and a dramaturg. To say it right, which is a big word for a person who helps make new plays. She writes poetry about gender, sexuality, religion, class politics, and her cat named Mark. Without much further ado, we'll bring up Jesse Drake to the stage. Yeah. to myself. 
A year that ran on and on like an inappropriate joke without a punchline. A year where I kissed a lot of boys just to prove myself right or wrong or to be not so alone. I pulled those boys onto my mattress and into my mouth, believing that I could want to be wanted as much as they wanted me. I covered my cold nakedness with their electric blanket bodies, shut the door, shut off the lights, and shut off myself. But again and again, those boys... Those boys who have been told again and again that they are hormone-crazed beasts who can't resist raping a short skirt and prefer to fuck without feeling because that's the way they want it and that's the way they are wanted. Those boys were men when they took their lips from my neck and their hands off my breasts and their pelvis off my hips to look in my eyes until I unblazed. Those men asked me if I was all right. Those men gently pushed away my angry, grasping hands. Those men were the willing receptacles of my tears as they sat on the other side of the bed and listened to me until I could hear myself. I stopped seeing that therapist. <laughs> and my mother is slowly learning to stop asking about what men did wrong to make me the woman that I am. Woo!